the Venetian Las Vegas hosts one of the most popular poker rooms in the country, the recently renovated Sands Poker Room. Currently, the Venetian is in the middle of its gigantic summer tournament series, the Deep Stack Extravaganza 3, which features more than 200 exciting events. The Card Player Poker Tour has partnered with the property to provide reports and live coverage of the $5,000 buy-in main event, which starts July 13th. Card Player TV caught up with Kathy Raymond, Director of Poker Operations, to learn more. As uh, you can see, I mean, we are in the middle of, actually right in the middle of, um, our Deep Stack Extravaganza 3, which is our summer event. Um, which has been very, very successful. Um, we are uh, actually offering, uh, for the most part, four tournaments a day, 11 a.m., 12, 4, 7. So we constantly have action going on. And uh, that action in tournament has actually flowed into the cash games of the room. Um, and, you know, if players are looking for where they can get good cash action, um, there was, a, a, I believe it was the weekend before last, we had all 59 tables in the room going in cash. Uh, for two days straight, plus we did spread some cash games over in Palazzo. So the tournament does have a, a tremendous effect on our cash games, um, and we hope that players are getting the best of both, and we believe that they are. We also spoke with Tommy LaRosa, Poker Tournament Director of the Sands Poker Room at the Venetian, to learn more about some of the Venetian's variety of tournament offerings. The, the more specialty events that we've added at 11 a.m. have brought in more stud players, Omaha players, uh, the countless number of PLO tournaments we've added at 4 o'clock. It's just brought in more players other than just the strictly no limit players. So we're very excited about the schedule and the players that it's brought into the room. One of the more popular tournament formats this summer has been the series Black Chip Bounty Tournament, where you win a $100 bounty for each player you knock out. Black Chip Bounty Tournament is one of our most popular tournaments. Uh, our players uh, love the fact that they can get their buy-in back without actually having to cash in the tournament. And uh, we've seen some of our best numbers in our uh, $300 buy-in Black Chip Bounty Tournament. So we're very excited about it. Going forward, I plan to have uh, many bounty tournaments in the schedule. They are also offering survivor tournaments, where the last 10% of the field evenly splits the prize pool. It's something that uh, the players actually brought to, to me and Kathy, and uh, we embraced it. And we didn't know exactly how popular it would be here on the West Coast, but the players have, have ran with it. And it's, it is really a great tournament for our players because it, it actually spreads the money out through more places and allows the players to enter more events, enter cash games, or if they want, cash out the chips at the cage, but it's a great tournament, we're very excited about it, and our players love it, and we've seen that in the numbers. Speaking of cash games, we asked LaRosa about some of the other great things players can expect when they come to the Sands Poker Room. Well, uh, we have remodeled our, our room recently in the last year, and the players that are just coming back for the first time since that remodel have nothing but great things to say. They're very impressed with what we've done here and what we're offering, because we're not strictly a no-limit room. Players know that they can come here, they can jump into a PLO game, uh, a, you know, a mixed game, um, we're spreading Chinese poker uh, regularly, so our players are very excited about what we've done aesthetically and also what we're offering to the players. So it's great when you hear those uh, feedback from the player, and we're very excited and it makes what we do even more enjoyable, but we love what we do anyways. But when you hear the great uh, feedback, it's, it's even better. The new room reopened September 28th of 2012. Raymond told us how the remodel came about. Um, it was, uh, we knew that we needed more tables. Uh, we were really maxing out at the number of tables that we had and have done so as well at the 59 table room lately. We wanted to make sure that this was really the poker player's room, that uh, there was enough space, that there was enough amenities um, to be able to offer five diamond poker experience. And I think we've accomplished that. Raymond also told us about some of the great amenities players will find when they come to the Venetian. Players uh, play long sessions um, and they would, uh, their phones would start to die or their iPods would start to die or their iPads. Um, so what we did was we uh, decided to put in electrical outlets under the table, actually two per player because we know that they usually have more than two devices. Um, and uh, they are actually under every uh, one of the 59 tables. Players absolutely love it. Um, we've incorporated uh, Grand Lux Cafe, which is the Cheesecake Factory, into uh, full service uh, in the poker room. Um, that is a full menu. I believe it's something like 10 pages long. Um, every type of food that you can absolutely want is offered 24-7 and served by Grand Lux Cafe in the poker room. Uh, players are ecstatic about that and uh, uh, as I say the food is fantastic. Our tournament registration area um, is absolutely the best I've ever seen in the world. Um, it's uh, full of four or five cashier spots um, along with a place to get your players card at the same time. We do want to make sure that 
players um, have a very uh, even flow of experience, that there is nothing that is out of whack for them. So um, we, we listen to the players all the time, and we'll continue to listen, we'll continue to improve. Um, right now, I believe, and I've been told by many, many players, that this is the top <laughs> poker room in the world. Um, and um, I tend to agree with them. But we never stop looking for ways to make it better, to make the poker experience the top of the industry. One of the ways they are doing that is through the Great Players Card Program, which allows players to use their points for more than just the incredible restaurants and the casino. Basically, the, the points that you do earn in cash games can be used for the buy-in portion of uh, tournament play, which is uh, unlike, I believe, anyone else um, in the city. This way, if we have you know, a, a thousand uh, a thousand dollar buy-in, um, you take off the entry fee and you can take 900 plus out of your uh, uh, points and uh, basically free roll. And uh, we've had many, many, many players. I think we're up at uh, close to a quarter of a million dollars in points that have been used towards tournament play. So that proves that that's a success as well. And again, this is something that I think is good for the players. Um, you know, they want to be able to get the best bang for their buck as well as experiencing this kind of atmosphere. So we try and combine both. For players who have caught the open-faced Chinese poker bug, the Venetian is also spreading this new and highly popular game. We offer open-faced Chinese at uh, whatever point level uh, players want to, uh, to spread it at. We do 5 point, 10 point, 20 point, 100 point. Um, where we are unique is that we have instituted basically a training table, which is a two point open-faced Chinese, which I don't believe that anyone um, in Vegas is doing. There are a lot of players who are afraid of a new game, um, and our goal has always made, you know, been to make players feel comfortable. So in light of that, we've done the $2 uh, open face Chinese, and um, we only really have one training table a day going, but it is always going and it is always full. So again, I think we're doing what's good for the players. The series highlight is the $5,000 buy-in main event starting on July 13th which is going to feature in-depth live coverage as part of the Card Player Poker Tour. Well, um, the main event is July 13th and 14th. We will offer $600 Super Satellites the day before at 12, 4, and 8 o'clock. Those are must plays, so anybody who satellites their way in must play the main event on either the 13th or 14th. Uh, we also will run single table satellites for anybody who's interested in that format as well. But we're very excited about the main event and we look forward to a, to a great finish to our series. Thanks to Tommy LaRosa and Kathy Raymond for telling us all about the Deep Stack Extravaganza 3 and the Sands Poker Room. And thank you for tuning into this video right here on Card Player TV.